Big Daddy here with a post install video of KDE Neon. Well, I guess you're wondering where the install video was. Well, all I can say is it's not here. Okay, I made a video of installing Neon just like I made a video of installing Antergos and the differences between the two. And when I got done, there was no video. So, but I was using a different screen recorder that I was unfamiliar with, so maybe I did something wrong. Who knows? But anyway, I figure I would show you KDE Neon. I've already showed you Neon in other videos, but this is the, you know, fresh install without no customizations. The only thing that's added here is, one, I kept my home folder. So I did the partitions where I, you know, separate the operating system in the root folder from the home folder so that when I reinstall I keep my settings. Now I had taken out my home folder from before and redid it when I did Ubuntu Mate. So I lost all my KDE settings. Well I didn't lose them. I gave them away. I destroyed them. Um, but the settings that carry over are certain ones like private internet access program that runs from your home folder. So if you keep your home folder from install to install, that will already be installed and run right away because it's running from the home folder. Um, the only other thing I did was install Simple Screen Recorder and I think Kazam to try out uh, what I was going to use to make the video and SM Player. Other than that, there's everything else is stock. So the graphics, you get KDE Image Viewer, Gwen View. Internet, you get Firefox. Multimedia, you get VLC Player, and that's it. The rest of this I installed trying to get the videos to work. So, um, and that's it. Settings, I installed Synaptic Package Manager to actually... Um, get things installed. I know that Discover is already on here, but I personally, um, I prefer to work with Synaptic. Let's put it that way. So as far as utilities, you got an archiving tool. You got uh, KWrite, which is the text editor and a screenshot tool. And that's about it. It's a pretty, it's actually almost like an arch distribution. It's pretty lean. <laughs> So, there, I mean, I've already done videos on Plasma 5.8 and KDE Neon, so I'm not going to go through the whole system of what you get. Um, but I will show you what this is. It is the latest 5.82 Plasma version. 5.27 is the frameworks, just like Antergos was 5.7. Now, this is using a kernel 4.40 which I believe Antigos was using 4.8.4. And um, yeah, that's the system. So I figured while I'm here, because I don't know how this video is going to turn out, because you see the animation is not exactly smooth, and that's because I don't have the NVIDIA drivers installed on my system. So once I install them, everything runs primo. So I'm going to install them. So I figure I'd do it in the video itself. So let's see here. Synaptic Package Manager, I will put in my password. And you can do a search for NVIDIA because there are drivers already here in Synaptic, in the maintained. Now, if you go here and you sort it by package and you go down to NVIDIA, you'll see, you skip all this other stuff. Well, you don't have to, but I skip it. All right, so it starts at 304, and it goes all the way up to 361. Okay, so you would want to do this one here. And when you check this, it's going to also check this stuff too, which includes the NVIDIA settings, NVIDIA Prime, and all that other stuff that you would need. Okay, so what I'm going to do is you can install those, and those will be fine. But I am going to add the um, NVIDIA PPA 
and we're going to see if we can get a later driver. Now, I don't know, maybe my uh, recollection is off here, but I thought there were other programs installed on Neon by default. Um, like, I thought the drop-down terminal was installed by default, but maybe I'm wrong before. I don't know if they took some of the software out of the ISO, or because this is the off of the latest ISO, or I'm just remembering wrong. Maybe I'm just remembering wrong. So I will put this into the comments for the PPA. Now, I don't, you know, like I said, you don't want to add the PPA and you want to install NVIDIA 3.6361, go right ahead. It'll work, it'll work fine. But we're going to add the PPA and we're going to see if this gives us a later driver. So we're going to hit enter to allow that to come through. And then we are going to do a sudo apt update. And no, you don't have to do the sudo apt get. You can the apt get is not necessary anymore. Apt works just fine. All right, so now that we've oh, I'm sorry, it's locked because I got Synaptic open. So we're going to do that again. Okay, so all the packages are up to date now. Now, you could type into the terminal, you know, sudo apt get, or sudo apt install NVIDIA-361, something like that, and get it. Or you could just go into Synaptic again and do a search. So however you want to do it, you're going to get there. So if we sort it by name again, we see that we got up to 3.7.0 now. So that is, I guess, the latest driver for the NVIDIA card. So that's what I'm going to install. Because I'm a glutton for punishment and, you know, I'd much rather have the latest updates. That's why I'm on Neon. I mean, otherwise I would stick with an a earlier Plasma edition. But I prefer to have the latest updates. And if something breaks, then I'll deal with it then. But I prefer the latest updates. So you hit apply. And of course you got to hit apply again because the first apply wasn't enough that you wanted to do it. They want to make sure you're really sure that you want to do this. Pretty fast download. That's all I'm going to say. Now I will say that this is fast, but it is not as fast as Arch in installing programs. I mean, I was like blown away how fast Arch can install a program. Now, I didn't install the NVIDIA drivers to see how long that took, but on normal programs, I know NVIDIA drivers are bigger than normal programs, but uh, man, that was fast. Maybe someday I'll be an Arch user. All right, there you have it. Um, I will let it like this because, in order, I mean, I guess you could run it like this, but in order to fully take effect, you're going to want to restart the computer. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take this Neon uh, install that I have here, which is on my main drive. I'm going to start customizing it, and I'm going to actually start making videos right after this one to start customizing uh, Neon the way I like it, KDE the way I like it. So um, look for the next video, and until then, Big Daddy, out.